Good morning from North Lakes, here for an install. Boys are just arriving. Let's get into it. Morning, Savannah. Morning. Fletcher. Hi, right, Caitlin. Where are we this morning on this nice Monday morning? We are in North Lakes this morning. Yeah, what are we doing here? A big install. We've got a big four bed, three living study house, um, giant yard. It's an amazing lot of land, so it's coming up really nice. And what sort of, I don't know, style are we going for here today? We're going up coastal blues. Mm. So I haven't done that in a while, so I'm very excited. Hope you enjoyed that install and we do have another one to show you at the end of the episode for now though we are going to show you a project project management tool called trello which we use to well manage projects or installs we had a question come through asking how we use uh, trello to manage projects so let's show you so trello is a kind of project management tool so we use it for a couple of or two main um, reasons but the first one which is probably the one we that everybody has some involvement with is as the kind of management tool that tracks each of our jobs, each of our houses uh, or installs. Um, so basically Trello, if you're not kind of familiar with it, has a number of different columns um, or boards and then within each board you can have a number of items basically and they're called cards. So within ours we have set up our um, columns for each stage of the project basically. Um, so for instance on the first one here we have um, a, a, a column here set up for invoicing so Jake to invoice and it has a list of properties that are ready they've been confirmed they're ready for me to go in and do my thing um, and you can click on a card so I've got a pretend one here um, and it has all the details that we would normally put in so anything relevant to the job at that point who's the client the age and all those things when it's going to happen um, we then uh, so I'll invoice it and then it gets moved across to the next column and at that point that's when it's ready for install and there's a checklist put in here for the stylist to then take it over so you can see different people are responsible at different stages. So once it gets to the install stage, the lead stylist then goes through the checklist, makes sure they tick all the things that are relevant um, as a job is being done or has been done, so uploading photos, you know, sending various emails, making sure that everything um, in the inventory database is correct, um, all those sorts of things. Um, and then once that gets ticked, um, we then move it across to another column to say it's been installed, everything's done. We're waiting then for um, a collection essentially. So it sits there until we get to the point of the property having sold or the um, high period finishing. And at that point we would obviously pack it up and we've got all our notes in here as well, which is kind of a separate column that happens at any stage. If there's something relevant to the job that we want to um, record or or have available for somebody else. So for instance, when we do an install, if there's particularly um, difficult access or we can't get down the driveway or something like that, we'll put that in here so that when we get to the pack up, um, it's ready to, or it's there for whoever is doing the pack up to um, know so that when we schedule time, we know. And then eventually the last column then is a feedback request, which we use. Um, obviously at, at the end of every job, we wanna send off an email and, and ask for feedback on our various kind of platforms, Google, Facebook, etc. Um, and then a complete folder. And then when we get to that point, they're empty at the moment because we archive them once everything's done. So they're still available, but they're kind of out of the way. Um, so yeah, it, as I said, it kind of goes through the different stages of a job and different people have um, input at different points. We also use Trello to, I guess, identify or catalog uh, some of our stock. We do, so I'll jump across to that board. So we kind of have this stock board, which essentially is, um, it's slowly becoming a database of everything that we own um, so that when we're loading a truck or getting stock ready, if we're not sure or that, you know, it's. It's used mostly by, I guess, the new uh, people to the team. So when they're learning the names of everything, they have something they can come in and search for it um, and find the, the 
picture of it and the details because Phoebe, when she's doing the stock list for an install, she'll do it just listing out all the names. So she writes her whole list um, and then it's, you know, the logistics teams or the, the stylists will go and sticker it. Um, so if they're not sure they can, they have this, um, they can come and do a search and then the logistics team can actually find it on the shelves. Um, and then the final or the other reason we use this is this, again, you've got these columns, but the first column is for brand new stock where it needs to be added to our inventory database, um, our, our tool, Excel tool that we use. So anything that's new goes in here with a picture, um, gets a name or a suggested name, and then I know that I need to come and add it to our database. Um, and then from that point, it comes into our existing um, stock list, and we have pictures of everything. Thank you, Jake, for running us through Trello and how we use it here at Foxy Home Staging. To finish the episode, we are heading to another install about 30, 40 minutes north of Brisbane to the suburb of Narangba. Hey. In Narangba at the moment, doing a beige four bed, two living property. Yep. Um, we're going for a bit of like contemporary, a bit of blues, blacks, rattan. Nice. And we had some, a few tricks this morning, pianos and sort of happened to <laughs> move stuff around a bit. Yeah, so we had a piano. Um, we also had an extra room, which appeared out of nowhere, um, mm. which we then found out the clients were actually signed themselves. Um, and yeah, we've also just had a couple of small things along the way to deal with. But, but yeah, all good. All good, going well. That is it for this week's episode of Foxy TV. And a big thank you to Silvana who helped out with footage from North Lakes install, the first one you watch, and Bianca who got footage from uh, Narang Bar, that second install there. So again, thanks so much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions or, or topics you'd like covered in future episodes, and we'll see you back here next week.